Hello and welcome back to some more Civilization 5 Gods and Kings as Ramses the second of Egypt and I believe we want to move this missionary to Moscow and do another religious spread there and that uh, probably won't be enough to convert either of these cities actually but that's all right we'll be recruiting another missionary anyway want to get our religion really spreading everywhere at least in our own territory as for these cities I'll try to build them up as quickly as possible do we have a workshop I believe we should let's check the city yes we do I want to build them up as quickly as possible and then start producing some serious fleets here because Byzantines are our greatest threat right now and I would like to be in a position to challenge them and that means having naval power and research yeah we're building chivalry and the Alhambra has already been built by the Byzantines because they're douches like that they have like a dozen wonders and she just entered the Renaissance era as well okay now I do want to do some peaceful prosperity crap I really do but I'm not sure how well I can afford to leave the Byzantines alone because they are a significant threat they're very advanced they have many wonders which gives them an advantage and and Theodore has just declared war on Alexander okay if I took this city I would be in a position to really just you know screw with the Byzantines so I am gonna declare war on Alexander now I did not expect her to actually do this but if she has then I must strike and Parslos or however that's pronounced has to be ours actually no university first we are not prioritizing culture we are prioritizing more traditional forms of economic power okay wait a turn or two and yeah and the Himeika oh Jesus Christ look at how she's moving up there Greece has denounced the Aztecs. I need to take this city. Although then again, if Theodora takes it, that won't be a complete disaster either. And we are in the Renaissance era as well, apparently. So, gunpowder next. yes hate he hates me yes by all means this pies away unfortunately don't want really help you probably can't shoot from there but I can't move my catapults up further in any case so won't make much of a difference and really I have to I can't allow the Byzantines to expand which means I have to either attack them directly or compete for their expansion options and block them whenever possible and that means taking this city Alexander will hate me for this that can't be helped but it's the lesser of two evils kind of need to counter the Byzantines like really need to counter them What I am hoping for is that they won't be able to take the cities, city here and sort of wear themselves out. Right. 
right. Yerevan. When did I pick up Yerevan? I have Zanzibar. Did I pledge my protection to them or something? Where is Yerevan anyway? What are you talking about, Lisbeth? Ah, we are at war with Florence, apparently. What? Ah, there you are. And the Byzantines have more faith than me, apparently. At least I think it would be the Byzantines. Okay. About here. Eh? Well, I suppose a few more crossbowmen won't hurt. And we can do la this. Can you... I don't want to risk it if we can, because if we can, then that will be a problem of a different kind. Because we don't want to weaken the city too much, we want the Byzantines to use up all their strength weakening the city, then we just swoop in and take it at the last second, like complete douches. That should probably be next turn if we want to take it at all. Oh, hello, and they moved away too. Alright, if we can shell it with the catapults, I'm gonna go for an attack this turn and take it. If not, well then, you know. And if I succeed at taking the city, I will probably just peace out with Alex, because I don't want a war with him, I just want the city. Well, want is such a strong term, mostly I need it. Okay, it looks like we will have to move up like this. We won't be able to actually take it. Okay, down here. Yes, we'll park you there. Oh, uh, yeah. Park one there and send another one this way. Should be producing more. There, I'm not. Okay, let's build some castles and barracks here. Well, actually, barracks first so that we can build some more experienced troops from the outset. You are there, and you should chill. Here's to hoping she doesn't manage to take it. Oh, thank God she failed. And I know I'm being a total douche, that's kind of the plan. See, Alex isn't really even a threat, I'm just fighting to block what Theodora, the, Byzant the Byzantium is trying to do, because really, I mean, I don't care either way about Alex. What I care about is the Byzantines getting stronger, which I cannot allow. They're already far enough ahead of me as it is, and, well, you get the idea. So I guess we've picked up another city. Hooray for me. The fuck are you... What? What? Damn it! What the fuck was that? Bastards. And... She likes me. But she believes I'm colonizing too aggressively. Well, Alex, what do you think? Still have business to settle. Fair enough. You have every right to be angry, I suppose. Elizabeth is not much of a threat. She shouldn't be a problem. Okay. 
So now we are sort of in a position to threaten the Byzantines. Now if only I had a halfway decent fleet I could really be in a position to go to war with them and significantly weaken their chokehold on stuff. Yes, I know she's plotting against me. I'm not surprised. So, yeah, she might not be able to make it to Alex anymore. Okay, draw back there, go there, and that should be okay-ish. Okay, you chill there, that should be good. Actually, exchange spots, there we go. That should be okay-ish. Not gonna take any more land from Alex, he's a non-entity at this point. Not particularly concerned. I could certainly take Athens and establish myself as more powerful that way, but... Ah, yes, that's the Byzantine religion spreading here. Alright. Could certainly try to make myself more powerful at Alex's expense, but my happiness is pretty low, and... I want to save my happiness margin, which is one of the bigger limiting factors on how much you can actually conquer for fighting with Theodora, because I'm feeling there will be a bit of a war there. Okay, whenever Alex is ready to make peace, I'm cool with it. Not sure that two long swordmen is enough, but then I don't think I need that many melee units over that way against Lisbeth, especially since a sizable portion of her army is here already. Armory next, I believe, and here in Alexandria we will... What will we build? What will help us? Harbor? No, that's from sea resource work, and I don't need food from ocean tiles that much either. We build this, and I don't know, a library, and then we can just switch to making galleasses. So that we have some sort of fleet support going. Ah, you. Uh, sorry, darling. Open borders is not gonna happen. Just... no. Yeah, some deals are coming due, apparently. Fair enough. We'll just renegotiate or renew them. Right, how do you feel about me now? Still friendly, apparently. Okay, Heliopolis has become religious. That will increase pressure hereabouts. Oh, and St. Petersburg became religious on its own. Excellent. That should eventually convert Moscow as well. So I'll send my next missionary down to Toledo, I believe. As for here, let's buy that and again start building some ships. My money should be able to handle a bit of military build-up. Gunpowder next turn will upgrade our longswordmen to musketmen so that they no longer need iron and then we will start build researching towards frigates to give us even stronger sea power. Gnosis, eh? Fair enough. Excellent. Free city. I know, I know, I said I would. Wait. 
Wait a second. Wait, it is a puppet. Why did he say it was occupied for a moment there? That was uh, fracked up. I th okay, anyway. Do I want an armory there? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Cannon would be good too, but it's not as essential as navigation, I think. Although... Well, yeah, they looks like they have a few coastal spots there, and it would let me explore far further. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that for now. Well, they'll get their religious thingy eventually, so I'll get a bit of influence there at no cost to myself. And after this, we'll move on to... Yes, 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 you're such a tough little girl. Okay. Yeah, Alex is kind of screwed there. I kind of don't envy him. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Okay, missionary there. I think your religious pressure does depend on the faith points you are producing. And I need extra happiness as well. So, Pagodas it is. And you will head to Toledo and Madrid. Okay, and start on some upgrades. Third one hasn't arrived yet. I thought I sent a third one down this way. Oh wait, what? Pfft, silly old me. All right. Eh, eh, eh. That should be good. As far as placement is concerned, culturally, ah, uh, still a ways to go until we get the one that gives us extra happiness. Another two pulses, but we'll get one next turn, so... That is manageable. I would really like to send the ship down this way to see what's going on there. So, first opportunity I get, the moment I have some galleasses, I'm going for it. Okay, may adopt a new policy. Mercantilism, which will increase my science by a bit, which is certainly useful. Okay, that's been produced. Alright, you can start on a Circus Maximus for extra happiness and send this one down here. You fortify, you fortify. And the Byzantines are apparently stronger than us militarily. Well, now. That's certainly interesting. And also a bit of a problem. Seven turns will be able to steal some tech, which is certainly happiness inducing news. And both of. That one doesn't have fishing boats. And neither does this fish. Montezuma and Lisbeth, eh? As long as they only take Cordoba, I'm probably okay with it. Although... Wait a second, do I have... I don't think I have ivory. So doing a bit of damage to Lisbeth might be in my own best interest. How much does she despise me? Significantly. But not that much. What about Russia? Do they have ivory? They do not. I could just... See, if I ever have to fight the Aztecs, then these two cities here will sort of be squeezed in between two forces. I don't want that. 
I mean, who needs that kind of crap? Let's try and move some troops up that way so that we can if we suddenly for some strange reason decide that Lisbeth needs to die Pff, I can't imagine why we would want that but we should be ready for such matters so that we can move in and really Cordoba was a Spanish city you never should have attacked easy and I know I know I attacked easy too but I had no choice you, on the other hand, were just a douche. Oh, I have a great general there. Completely forgot about that guy. Not that I particularly need him, but... Damn. Okay, I'm not declaring war yet. It looks like she might be able to defend herself, actually. So, yeah. I'm gonna bring the great general down cause I'll need him there far more. Come to... And these troops should be close enough that I can easily bring them up if... it becomes necessary to fight Theodora. You know, the Byzantines. Boom. That should slightly only not so much. Grand Temple increases religious pressure. Versus building a pair more... Another pair of musketmen, which would be useful. If the Aztecs look like they might take the city, I will swoop in and try to... Steal it out from under them. If not, I'll leave Lisbeth alone. Right now, it looks like they might be able to defend themselves. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it. And that's a Greek missionary. And Yerevan apparently wants me to denounce the Aztecs, which is so not gonna happen. Okay, there you are. Denounce the Aztecs. Uh uh. No. Just no. Apparently, the Aztecs demanded tribute from them. Go figure. Oh, but that is so not gonna happen. Yeah, just one. And we can't get decent pressure there either. That's alright. Did I switch it over to Pagodas? I did. Excellent. Right. It looks like things are sort of proceeding okay. Yish. Lee. We have freed up four sources of iron, which is all we ever had. That's enough for four frigates. Which is... It's not a lot. It should be enough, but it's not a lot. Yeah, it looks like the Aztecs might get their ass handed to them. And Alex somehow entered the Renaissance era. Most interesting. Yeah, if they have navigation, I'm gonna steal it from them. Even if there's some technically more valuable tech there. Because I want to build up my sea power here. Okay. And she has built another wonder. She's a menace! She needs to be stopped. Yeah, I still can't figure out who's gonna win there. Probably Lisbeth. She's in a lot better position. Really. But I can't be sure. 
Well, I hope it's Liz, but I wouldn't want to, you know, start more trouble with the minor players, I mean. I need to challenge the Byzantium. Now, if I could crush the power of Byzantium, I will essentially be in a position to win the entire game. That point, virtually nobody would be in a position to stop me. But, I would have to actually defeat them. Okay. Yeah, slightly unhappy, but uh, that will just have to do. Is there any happiness stuff I can. No, just a library. So let's buy that up our science a bit more. You, two turns. Well, I suppose I could wait and upgrade the galleasses to frigates. Now, another fun fact is that if I am at war with the Byzantium, I can't help with this much as I might want to. Now, another question is whether we can, uh, like, risk Letting this continue, or whether we need to declare war right now. Okay, once we get the uh, protectionism thing, which will make give us a lot more happiness, we will probably start ourselves a war against Byzantium and crush that competition. Right. I suppose just cycle the turn. Yeah, that's a nasty trebuchet. That one's gonna be a troublesome one. If it's not a glitch. Which it might be. It's at the very least, not displaying the icon the way it should. More fighting going on there, that's cause the Byzantines are technically at war with uh, the Greeks, I think. Which is why Yerevan, who, which is, sh I think, allied with the Byzantines, is still fighting Greek troops. Come on, show me the city. Jesus, that takes a while. Yeah, see they're allied with the Byzantines. Yes! That's Barcelona, which is a captured thingy, and the only thing they have that I don't is banking. Alright, I could go for money, I like money. Wait, that's not money, that's a castle. Bank. Whoa. Okay. And you park there. Just gonna use that one galleas to discover just how much of their stuff is on the coast. Get some ideas to whether it's worth going for. Yeah, my agents go where they please. Screw you. Yes, 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 yes. I know I'm a mean, mean, mean guy. Yeah, screw you. Seems like such a bitch. Easy, well, easy was likable, but this one, eek. Ah, oh, crap, they took it. Okay, too late now. Well, no, that's not really a disaster. Ah, 
Ah, we have completely eclipsed them in research. That's good news right there. That's one coastal city. Okay, how about uh, 50 gold? Excellent. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, not yet. Build me another musket man first. To have at least one that's good at rough terrain fighting, send him there. Alright, and just keep on going. Park there for now, that should be good. Okay, so this video has been going on for half an hour, so I'll see you guys in a second.